Hello folks, welcome to another Way Brothers Should I Buy review. Today we're looking at King Domino, so let's check it out. All right, King Domino is essentially just a good old-fashioned domino game, but instead of numbers on the sides, you have different terrain types. For example, forest, water, farmland, swamp, etc. You can play the game with anywhere from two to four players, and essentially you're just taking these tokens in order and placing them onto your little square grid. And you're trying to build a perfect grid of five squares by five squares. At the end of the game, your castle is going to score points according to how many types of a given terrain are connected, multiplied by how many crowns are in that area. So this little terrain grid here would score five points. This little terrain grid here would score three points and so forth. Now, obviously my castle is nowhere near finished for the game, but this is just to give you a general idea of what it looks like and what you're doing. Welcome back, now let's run it through our categories. For being a loose interpretation of the traditional dominoes game, this game is actually pretty fun, and it's primarily because of the amount of strategy that it has. It's not an incredible amount, because there is some luck that gets mixed in there that can mess with your game, but the strategy involved actually is pretty entertaining to play with. It's especially satisfying when you get to the end of a game and you've got a nice square grid of a castle created with big patches of one type of resource with a bunch of crowns on them so you get a lot of points. It's not as satisfying when you don't get very many points and then you lose, but hey, it's still pretty fun, so we're going to give it a 10 out of 15. This game actually has pretty decent replayability, and that's primarily because of the variability involved. And what I mean by that is most board games, you have a big board that's set up the same way every time. It's the same starting setup, the same playing field. But in this game, you're actually designing your own little board, and that's how you're going to get scoring points. And you're pulling from a different um, pool of resources every time. The little tiles are different every game and even every round. And so because of that, the game goes by quickly, and you're ready to play another game pretty easily after that. So I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. In terms of overall design, the game is pretty decent except for one primary area, and that's in that you have to constantly, every round, rearrange and set out a new set of tiles for players to choose from. And for the proportion of the amount of time it takes to do that for playing the overall game, it gets pretty annoying after a while, so I'm just going to give this a 6 out of 10. King Domino has fair production value. It's got some nice cardboard and some decent wooden pieces incorporated into it. It's not amazing, but it's also not terrible. It's just kind of a nice midline, so we're going to give it a 3 out of 5. In terms of theme, the game's okay. I mean, essentially you're just playing a dominoes game that happens to be making a castle. But the one saving factor in it that it has a lot of humor incorporated into it, if you look at a lot of the tiles that the game has, there's some funny little scenes or maybe references to some pop culture or maybe even like fantasy things. Yeah, so it's, it, it does okay. We're going to give it a 3 out of 5. And finally, for price, you can find this game for under $20 in most places. That's pretty decent for how much gameplay you can get out of the game. We're going to give it a nice 4 out of 5. Tallying up the scores out of all six categories, King Domino earns itself a decent 33 out of 50. To be a recommended I should buy this game, it, you have to get a 30 out of 50, so this game passes. You should buy this game, go buy it now. Enjoy.